Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great most of them well, peace and blessings to the elected nation of Israel. All right, I'm the brother Adawan from Great Most of West Palm Beach. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Hashem, Shai, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, just getting straight to it. It's got to be a quick hit, Lord willing. <clears throat> the Lord is the one who does the choosing, not the other way around. All right, Yahweh by Hashem, Shai is who chooses whom to be saved. Whom to be delivered, whom to be destroyed. All right? And that's what it is. The elect have been chosen from the foundation of the world, along with two thirds and the wicked. They have been appointed to be the wicked from the foundations of the world. All right? John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Right? Because you've had a lot of people who have been called into this thing of ours, this truth, this ministry that Yahweh Bashem Shai has given us. But the thing about it is they brought forth fruit, but their fruit didn't remain because they didn't endure to the end. They fell out the faith. All right. But the Lord endured his elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that elect number to bring forth fruit and for that fruit to remain. OK. It's just like when you plant a tree, you plant a coconut tree and that coconut tree may bring forth a uh, fruit uh, one season. But after that, the tree's just been fruitless ever since the first harvest. Well, then it's time to get rid of that tree. And that's the same thing with the Lord. The Lord is looking for us to stay fruitful in this thing of ours. Okay. And according to Second uh, Peter chapter one, it tells you how to stay fruitful in this truth. Okay. You got to apply the scriptures, you know. But John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name, he may give it you. That's right. So this has already been predestinated. All right. John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the father which hath sent me. Draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. Right. So you can't be of the elect. You can't come unto Yahweh Shai unless the heavenly father ordains you so. John 3 and 27. John answered and said a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. So you can't receive to uh, the spirit of following the Lord lest the Lord give it to you. You don't just decide on your own. Oh, I'm going to follow the Lord. The Lord puts it in your spirit to follow him. All right. As the scriptures say in the book of Ecclesiastes, no man hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. So if the Lord wants to take his Holy Spirit away from you, he can do that. And there's nothing you can do about it, no matter how bad you may want it. And vice versa. If you don't want the spirit, the Lord can still put his spirit on you, no matter how bad you didn't want to serve the Lord. All right. I know that sounds bogus, but there are some people out there who are like that. Okay. Matthew 11 and 27, all things are delivered unto me of my father and no man knoweth the son, but the father, neither knoweth any man, the father, save the son and he to whomsoever the son will reveal him. Right. So the point of me bringing this scripture out is because at the end of the day, the elect have been delivered unto Yahweh Shai and no man knows. All right. The heavenly father save Yahweh Shai. So if you're not coming through Yahweh Shai, you don't know the heavenly father. All right. Scripture say, he that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father. All right. And you don't know Yahweh Shai unless the heavenly father ordains you to Yahweh Shai. Going back to John 6 and 44. This is John 6 and 65. And he said, therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except they were given unto him of my father. Right. So the Lord has to ordain you. The Lord has to choose you. Okay. It's not the other way around, man. All right. And to, and to say you chose to serve the Lord. All right. Really is pride. All right, John 2 and 1 John 2 and 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, which that anointing is the Holy Spirit the Lord has given us to receive this truth. And is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Right. Okay. So this truth that we have, all right. It's been given to us this anointing. All right. Verse 28. And now little children abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Right. Because at the end of the day, if you love the Lord perfectly, guess what? You're not going to be afraid in the day of judgment because you know that you've been doing right by Yahweh Hashem to the best of your ability. All right. Let me get this real quick. Go to 
Matthew 16 and 17, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Right. Okay, because when Yahweh was asking his disciples, Who do you think I am? Peter told him, Hey, we believe and we know through the Spirit that you are the, the, the living power, you are the son of the living power. All right, you are Yahweh Mashiach. And Yahweh, and the reason why I wanted to grab the scripture because it said how the Father revealed that unto him. Not flesh and blood. Okay? So the Lord gave him that spirit to receive that. Same way the Lord gave the elect the spirit to receive Yahweh Shai. All right? Matthew 20 and 20. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, what will thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. So the sons of Zebedee, right? They were uh their mother was basically saying, Hey, make them make my sons of the elect. Right? I'm a high position of the elect, right? But Yahweh shall answer and said, You know not what you ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. Verse 23, and he saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given them for whom it is prepared of my father. Right. So Yahweh is saying, Look, you 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 want to be a part of that elect? You're gonna to have to go through that narrow and straight gate like the elect. You're gonna to have to be baptized with that baptism like the elect. However, all right, for, for the your rank and your position in the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shai said, that's that's given that's that's for those who is prepared of my father. You know? So you don't just choose, oh, I'm gonna be a camp head. I'm gonna be this brother in, in the spirit. I'm gonna be this brother in that spirit. I'm gonna be Moses. Or I'm gonna be, you know, nah, man. <laughs> you are who the Heavenly Father set you up to be. Okay, and that's the way it is. Okay? And if you wanna be able to elect, you gotta be ready to drink of that cup, man. You know? Number 16 and 28. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know. Hey, that's the spirit. <laughs> we just mentioned Moses. <laughs> and I didn't even recognize that I had this on the list through the spirit because I was looking away when I said that. Numbers 16 and 28. Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. Right. Moses letting you know, look, I didn't choose to uh, 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 be leading Israel in the wilderness to deliver Israel from Pharaoh's hand by the hand of the, the heavenly father. Yahweh Moses said, The Lord sent me up to do this. And it's the same thing. The same sentiment applies for all the men of the Lord out there doing the work of the Lord in truth and in sincerity. The Lord set us up to do this, man. Okay, we didn't just choose this life. This life chose us. All right. And Moses said hereby. So that nigga Tupac was right when he said, I ain't choose the thug life. The thug life chose me. Because even when it comes to being a demon, even when it comes to being wicked. Hey, a motherfucker don't. I mean, of course. No, at the end of the day, a motherfucker don't choose to be wicked. Okay. The Lord lets that demon get the best of them, you know? Now, of course, our people are going to have to pay for their decisions. But the point, of, the point of the lesson is what? You're appointed to be wicked or you're appointed to be righteous. As it says in uh, 1 Peter 2 and 8, how the two-thirds, the scribes and Pharisees, the wicked, were appointed to stumble at Yahweh Shai. Okay? So this is uh, Numbers 16 and 28 Moses said hereby you shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works for I have not done them of mine own mind If these men die the common death of all men or if they be visited after the visitation of all men Then the Lord hath not sent me But if the Lord make a new thing in the earth and open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them And they go down quick into the pit Then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord and that's exactly what happened All right the Lord chose Moses just like our Lord chose the rest of the men of the Lord and the elect Philippians 2 and 13, for it is Yahweh Bashamashai, which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So it's the Lord working in us to do what we do. It's not of ourselves. We did not choose this life. Okay, the Lord chose us. You know, that's why the Apostle Paul said, uh, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Yet against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Meaning a, a portion of the spirit is, is meant for you to multiply. You have no choice. That's why I was going to say, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Okay? Because we have a responsibility and we have a duty in this thing of ours. You know? But the
the point has been made, Lord willing, the most edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How we bash my shy, bash my Double honor, say possible knowledge, great most, and that we well, peace and blessings to you like Shalom, Baba.